All right, guys, so pleasant morning. Today is the 20th of July, 2023. And this morning, we held some trades from yesterday, probably about five minutes before the New York Stock Exchange closed. We were in five trades. We were in Kohl's. We were in a company called Bargwan, a Qualcomm G, um, GPC. We're currently still in another company called, um, ticker name CNC, right? Now, the reason why we actually sold these companies is because what we call an exhausted uptrend. That's the technical definition of why we actually sold these companies. However, our system that we use to take these trades is actually giving us buy signals. But here's the problem. As retail traders, sometimes we get caught in what everybody is seeing. And whenever the market is in an uptrend and it's very very obvious like for example we had um this is the company that paid us about 722 dollars this morning and trust me i think i missed out on probably like a two thousand dollar trade because i closed so quickly this is where we took profit right so we took profit at 62 dollars 18. we took profit at 162 dollars 18 apologies and it's now trading at 156 Right, so I definitely should let us move the break even and just hold the trade. Very, very nice gap. And that's one of the things we look for. We want to get gap so we can move to break even. So yesterday we actually sold this company. This is this is where you're seeing it on MetaTrader 5. So we sold at $67.65. Now it's trading at $157.06. So we try to be a step ahead of the, the, the normal retail trader. We want to be in the position from the previous day so that we can benefit from the um, volatility today. So guys, like I was saying, we don't want to be taking trades when it's extremely obvious. Right now, if you look on the S&P 500 and we trade stocks predominantly in the S&P 500, you're seeing that the S&P 500 actually break its 52 week high that it has created. And you're seeing that it's all the way up in the sky. Now when it's this vertical, Everybody wants to buy because it's obvious. It's just like when in 2019, 2020 there, when everybody saw Bitcoin at about $75, $75,000, everybody was looking to buy. Now, when it's too obvious and everybody's looking to buy, that's the wrong time to buy. Because Warren Buffett says, be timid when everybody's brave, but be brave when everybody's timid. Right now, everybody's brave to buy because it's obvious that is an uptrend. But what normally happens is that the more sophisticated trader or investor is looking to take profit because they had bought at the bottom, they had bought low. I remember one of the laws of investing and trading is that you have to buy low and sell high. So if you're looking to buy, when you see that S&P 500 is making all-time highs, you're going to be late to the party. So that is why we look for what we call exhausted uptrends. It really paid off quite well. Now, we have to be very, very careful with this kind of setup as well because we traded this on Bar Warner. We made a little bit of profit, just about $20, but you're seeing that it's not performing as well as GNC. And it's okay. We do what we call diversification. We don't just put all our trading ideas into one idea. We try to diverse it, diversify across about four to five or even six stocks, right? So just look at the fundamentals for the companies because fundamental analysis is very important as well. For CNC, which is Cita and Corp, you're seeing that the fundamentals are quite good in terms of their making revenue, operating income is double digits as well. However, their net income and also diluted EPS is negative. And you're seeing that in terms of return on equity, which is one factor that we pay special attention to, is actually negative as well. So shorting this company wasn't such a bad idea. But you're seeing that CNC not really paying off as well as we expected to in terms of a sell. But we'll be holding because there is some amount of resistance there. So we'll hold to see if the market really breaks over that level. And again, guys, let's look at GPC, which is the company that we shorted. Now, this company is quite a healthy company, even though their revenue is single digits, low single digits, but they're still able to grind out double digits, net income, um, double digit EPS growth. Um, we have some negative return on equity, but overall, this is a healthy company. But you're seeing that, when we look at GPC here, it actually gapped down. 
And it actually shows you that you can be trading a very, very good company, very good stock, very healthy. But if your timing is wrong, then you can lose money, even when you're buying a good stock. And what, we, what we're seeing is that obviously there was some amount of resistance um, on GPC at about $170 there. Price sold off and come back. You see that the buying pressure was weakening. We took the trade yesterday at about, um, what was that? About 2.56 in the afternoon. Um, just about four minutes before the New York Stock Exchange closed and then the market just fell this morning. To be honest, I really should have made about $2,000 on this trade. I'm being 100% honest. All right? But let's just move on to Kohl's. Everybody know Kohl's. Kohl's was one company that I expected to fall extremely hard because of the technicals I was seeing here. Uh, we got in about one day before. So we got in about Tuesday. Market moved up. Now it's coming back. And I decided to just liquidate because I wasn't seeing that momentum. Right, so even though Kohl's, um, well, it broke over this resistant area, but if we go, if we just zoom out a little bit and look at this area here, you're seeing that it's actually a support area here that was created in in about July 2022. Right, and probably if we zoom out a little bit, you're seeing that this area here is some amount of support that was created in about 2020. Right, but we don't like the momentum, it's not moving, so I just got out with a small loss. That's about um, $15 on that trade. And guys, moving on to Barg Warner. Um, not as impressive in terms of operating income, net income, and diluted EPS, both double digits revenue, um, double digit return and equity. So that is something that we pay attention to. But like I said, even though we're having strong buy signals, I believe that we're a little bit late to the party if we're trying to buy. Right? So we want to look for exhausted uptrends. And it's a psychological play. And we are saying that if we get into stocks that are overbought or exhausted to the upside, you know, we may be able to catch the momentum to the downside when it corrects. And the last stock that we traded was Qualcomm. Same kind of technical analysis. You're seeing the exhausted uptrend, small body candles to the upside. You actually saw that the previous day it was making its way back to a very, very strong resistance area. Today it had a gap down. It seems to be finding some amount of support, but we did take about $111 on that trade there. In terms of fundamentals for Qualcomm, let's look at the fundamentals for Qualcomm here. Very, very healthy company. So that is why I don't want to be in this company and I want to be outright shorting it because it's a very strong stock, very strong company. That's the difference between currencies, cryptocurrencies and commodities versus stocks. You're trading actual healthy companies, earnings, and other asset specific factors can influence the stock price. So the, the stock can actually gap up at any given time. So you have to manage your risk. 22% in terms of revenue for the last three years. Operating income 27, net income 43, diluted EPS growth 43, return on, on equity 63%, net margin 25.67%. So overall, um, you know, like I said, we still have one trade running. Our panel for today was $839. We're still going to just hold on to CN, CN, um, to CNC. If the market should take out these resistant areas, we'll be out of it. We we'll probably won't even wait that long. If we move to probably the 15-minute chart, we can see that the bulls are still trying to push the price up. This level here, which is the high that was created for yesterday, is definitely a trigger for us to get out. We're looking also at 69.52, which is a resistant area. Let's see if coals will die off in the afternoon or if it breaks. Let me just put a price alert there so I can hear if it breaks. Um, let's just see what coal, coal does. All right, guys. So this is just basically what we call the systematic asset selection process for trading U.S. equities. It's a very, what can I say, a comprehensive way that you can trade U.S. equities and I recommend that you get into our trading club and you learn it and start trading with us because we trade live. Everybody would have taken this these set of trades in the club yesterday, so most persons would have made money. All right, guys. So thank you for watching. If this video is helpful to you, if you find some value, if you want to see other trading videos like this, definitely go ahead and subscribe, turn on your notifications, and share with somebody who you think needs to know this. All right. Um, being a member of the club is completely free. You can just reach out to me. Um, through email, 
um, definitely in the link below. So thank you for watching, guys.